Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of our Planet Zoo Sandbox Adventure. Today we are going to be continuing our aquatic section of the zoo with a giant otter habitat. Now I have actually worked with otters in the past, though not giant otters, I've worked with um, Spotted Neck River Otters. And let me tell you, they are super smart. Some might even say, too smart. I would even say too smart. <laughs> when you're trying to have to keep them inside during the winter and they want to go be outside, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. But they are cute and that makes up for it. Even when you finish cleaning their backup area, turn around to leave and see them doing the poopy dance while making eye contact. They could be spiteful. <laughs> but, yeah. We are just doing a pretty standard habitat that I've done. I'm kind of mimicking what I did with the seals and the sea lions, just on a smaller scale. And I'm obviously fighting with the paths, per usual because that's just the way it goes in Planet Zoo. But, I, yeah, I'm mainly do. I'm gonna have another underwater section where guests can see and then, well, as you can clearly see a bridge over the top of the habitat, which I ha didn't realize that I didn't need to raise it up a bit and now I'm fighting with the paths again. I, re I didn't realize how awkward that looks. That's why I, I got rid of it. <laughs> it's like, I don't remember it looking that awkward last time I looked at this section of the zoo. But so we could finally raise things up just a tad bit. Like, it's not gonna be super deep like the seals and the sea lions were, but a pretty deep. Deep enough that the otters can swim and do otter things. Which is probably mainly getting themselves into trouble and eating shellfish you know as as you do as an otter I don't know if river otters eat shellfish that might just be a sea otter thing I know our otters just mainly eat fish fish which if you ever have to clean up after a fish eater be it penguin, otter, whatever. It's not fun. Worst poo I've ever had to deal with. And I've had to deal with big cat poo. That's saying something. Being a zookeeper is not all fun and games. There's a lot of... A lot of poo involved. <laughs> but... I did attempt to make a waterfall in this habitat. This is my first time working with these components, I guess I would call them. I'm not happy with how it turned out. I'll be I'll be honest. It just doesn't fit the area very well and there's no real nice way of hiding the sides. So that's something I'm definitely going to want to work on in the future to try and improve. But for my first attempt, I'm not upset with it. I think it came out pretty decently. As decent as one can expect, at least. And now it's just time for us to put a bunch of rocks in the habitat, because let's be real. Who doesn't like a bunch of rocks? It makes everything better. Especially underwater. I'm finding that rocks make the underwater areas look so much nicer. I want to attempt to do like a concrete underwater area, but I'm not sure the game will let me. Water and stuff in this game just, I've noticed, don't get along very well. But I might try to do that in our next project. Which... Well, I guess it won't be our next project for you guys. 
but my next project. But here we got our otters. I'm afraid with how big they portray them in this. I've never even seen a giant otter. I'm like, these guys are big. How accurate is that to their actual size? Like I said, I've only worked with um, spotted necked otters and they're like the size of a cat. Just a low, a munchkin cat. But now it's just time to decorate my favorite and least favorite part of a habitat build. But I am getting better with the dead space issues. I really dislike this log. <laughs> I wish they had more options for fallen trees. Like, that's such an interesting piece that I feel like it could work really well. But all you have is that or like actual dead trees that you can put on their sides, but they just don't look very nice. At least in my opinion. Unless I've met there's more than there's good chance that I missed it, but But yeah. I'm actually pretty happy with how this habitat turned out. Even with the few parts that I'm not complete one hundred percent on. For the most part, this habitat came out pretty good, and I think the otters like it, if I do say so myself. I didn't do any pathing here just because it wasn't- they're not very heavy animals, so I just didn't think it would suit the habitat. But I think that's going to be the end of our speed build, our time lapse. So let's go take a tour well guys that was our otter build and if we go this way this is what it currently looks like from this side a staff gate how interesting <laughs> but we're gonna go from the top first and then we'll go down I thought you were wearing Mickey ears and I was very confused like no, but I really, really like those hats. But this is our habitat from the upper viewing area. I don't see any otters, actually, which is a little sad. That might be an otter. Is that an otter? Is that just... Nope, that's not an otter. That's just a tree. Okay, well, maybe we'll see some otters. Nope, there they are. Nope, that's a flower. Oh, there's one. There we go. I'm not completely blind. But, we'll hopefully get some better views down below. We'll definitely get some better views down below because I'll be going inside the habitat. But I've added just a few decorations out and about. It obviously needs quite a bit more work, but yeah. If we go down here, this is our underwater viewing area. And you can see an otter just doing otter things. Oh my god, you're so cute. I don't like the hair texture though. That kind of looks a little weird. Not gonna lie. But I like the... That's cool. But if we go inside... He's doing otter things. His face is actually kind of creepy. I don't like the face. I'm sorry, my guy. I just, I don't really like your face. But yeah, this is our otter habitat. This is our waterfall. Again, eh, I'm not thrilled with it, but it was my first attempt, so. There shall be more attempts in the future. And yeah, I've found some new trees that I love. Like, I love this tree. This would look so good in a leopard habitat, but it's probably, considering this is a South American tree, probably won't end up in a leopard habitat but it would look so good ignore me but yeah this is our habitat i think it came out like i said i think it came out really cool where's my other otter doing little otter things laying down with their their feet creep me out even in real life their feet creep me out but yeah guys thank you so much for watching I greatly appreciate it. I. Yeah, I don't know. 
If you enjoy, maybe hit that like button. And if you would like to see more, hit that subscribe button. Yeah. I've got nothing else to add for today. So, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you all, and I will see you all next time. Bye!